Hello everybody and welcome. I am the Beta Plan and this is Crusader Kings 3 with its newest flavor pack, the Fate of Iberia. And in this video I'm gonna show you all the new affordable nations within the Iberian Peninsula. Bit of a new format for me, but I still hope to show you the mad skills that I have and have you a little bit of enjoyment while I do so. And the first king that we're gonna focus on is what I also think the weakest but still one of the most interesting as well and that is a kingdom that can only be created if you are of the Mozarabic religion and that is what it all ties into so which kingdom is that that is the kingdom of Toledo and in order to form the kingdom of Toledo you need of course the duchy of Toledo and have your capital be the county of Toledo now right now they're called differently because they're held by a Masriki Muslim but this man that you see here on the left lower corner is the best one to form the Kingdom of Toledo because he holds the, the key positions, or at least most of them, to form it. And if you do so, you will be rewarded with the Kingdom of Toledo, which itself doesn't give you much of a power boost, but allows you to convene the Council of Toledo, which trades piety and gold for a boost the County of Toledo, as well as the ability to take control of the fate of the Mozarabic faith. You can either break with Rome, removing the Pope as the head of faith, or you can actually bind the faith to Rome, making an, the Pope always the head of the faith. And whatever you do, the Mozarabic faith will change just a little bit, and you are the one to steer it in that direction. This is also a very easily formable nation, as you can see in one generation with the former duke that I just showed you. You can do that already in 877. This is a very easily formable nation, and it's very cool if you want to have a kingdom that has a power to control a faith. Other than that, it is not really a power boost, and therefore it is not really that interesting. If you want to do it, go as this Duke of Toledo, and probably go towards Castile to be the hero of the Mozarabic faith. Going from the Kingdom of Toledo, we go to the second formable nation within the fate of Iberia, the Kingdom of Aragon. And of course, for this, you will need the Duchy of Alto Aragon, now named Saracustas, I don't know how to pronounce that, in which, if you have that duchy and the, the neighboring duchies of Barcelona, Navarra, and Valencia, you are able to all make them instantly move into your kingdom. But you at least have to have Alto Aragon and one of these three duchies, Navarra, Barcelona or Valencia, to actually form it. And then you adopt the Aragonese culture and actually have a little bit of a chance to mold this culture. For instance, taking over the pillars or the ethos of your, religion, uh, of your uh, original culture, and in this case, Arabic. And normally it is formed from Basque and Catalan, they say, but that's interesting because in game it's normally not allowed. Unfortunately, however, nobody changes with you. Every vassal is still of their original culture. And you only get three random provinces that change to the new culture. As such, it isn't a great power boost. Because the culture also doesn't get any additional uh, unlocks in forms of technology. And thereby, it isn't that great of a nation to form. Other than that, of course, it is cool uh, in the sense that uh, it has five pillars, which most countries don't start with. The la uh, cultures. The last one to form is Portugal. Now, Portugal you can form in various ways. First one is to go from the north with just this double county count, Hermenegzilio Gutierrez of the Menendez family. And, uh, well, you can start from him, he's one of the characters you can select at the beginning. And as you can see, it's very easy to just conquer down south, but it does require quite a few things, Portugal. And thereby, it is also perhaps, therefore, the most powerful nation to form. You need to have all the free duchies of Portugal, Colombia, Beja and Algavre. And you need to be either independent, or the struggle phase needs to be in the opportunity. And all these duchies that you need to form, uh, have in order to form Portugal become the truly part of Portugal. Uh, you, it becomes your primary title, you get the Portuguese culture, but more importantly, every person in your realm that is within the jury part of Portugal becomes also Portuguese. And every county, also the people become Portuguese, making it a very stable nation. 
On top of that, the Portuguese culture, as you can see, gets one random military and one uh, random civic additional innovation, allowing you to have a power spike from here to there. However, if you want to form it really early, I would say go with the Duke in the South, this Muslim Duke. He has a, uh, a family member with a claim on the Shaikhdom of Intanya. Uh, to the South Laos, uh, a very weak duchy that you can easily conquer. And uh, you can do that with one struggle because you border everything. And then it's just going up north to beat on the Duke of Portugal. Either when he's still independent, away from um, Andalus, or even when he's a member of uh, Asturias. And then you can form it as early as 800 and 82 as on uh, the count of Galicia I did it in 903 now that are some very early formidable nations in fact I've seen videos online that say oh it's early as we do it in 937 dude I'm way quicker than that but it is a very very powerful formidable nation but as you can see the people outside of mm, uh, the de jure Portugal do not change but in fact your family members who came from Berber heritage or sorry you will see it now. Who come from Berber Heritage will also change with you. So you also have these guys change to the Portuguese culture, which is amazing. It's the most powerful, formidable nation. And as you can see, it has different flavor text if you form it as an Islam or as a Catholic. I didn't form it as a Mozarabic person, so I don't know if that also has a different flavor text, but I kind of assume so. Um, but I might just go one, one with one for Catholics, having a Christian and a Islamic thing. But that is just all conjecture on my part. Well, I uh, say I thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. And if you do, let me know in the comments. And until then, the next video, remember, great peril yields great beauty.